Cincinnati, Ohio. We're going to go and use the restroom. We have about one hour before we are going to the movies today. And we're going to go to the big movie theater that has like the reclinable seats and stuff. The kids have never went. So we're going to hit the bathroom and go potty. We just finished our lunch. Hello. <laughs> yeah. We'll do, sh I was, ow, your head I got in my hair. I was thinking to do shoes, jeans, and dresses. We only have about an hour, so let's see what we can get done. Bye-bye. Okay, so here we are. Headed to get a cart. I told Matthew he could drive the cart. He has to have something to do or he gets a little crazy. We went and watched that movie, um, Dream Horse. So as you can see, he dressed up like a little cowboy with his boots and his hat and his jeans. And then now we're off to the shoes. Annabelle's filming. I'm hoping that some of this footage is good enough footage that she wasn't just filming the floor the whole time, but we shall see. I did end up picking up two pairs of shoes today. I saw a really cute purse, but there was no brand on that. It just looked neat. I like the shape. I like the detail of it, but it was a no-name brand. <laughs> There's our little guy. I haven't really picked up a whole lot of purses. I just never find any anything really cool. I guess I shouldn't say that. I did sell an Ed Hardy bag recently. And I had a black leather bag with fringe on it that recently sold too. But any other time I haven't really had any luck. So this this store has the smallest shoe section. Section. There we go. They literally have like four of those racks. And that's it. So here I am looking through the shelves, nothing on the first rack, off to the next one. Those were cute. I would have played the audio, but the kids were starting to get on my nerves even an hour into the thrift store. But if I want to make this work on summer break, it is what it is, and we'll just take them with us. I showed Annabelle those unicorn slippers. She's not really into girly stuff anymore. So. Those are a brand I didn't recognize, but it was just made in China. It was kind of cheapy. Those were cute. Uh, Franco Sarto booties. But kind of out of season. And I'm trying to stay on a budget for inventory every week. So I put those back. I thought those were Harley for a minute. Or hiking boots. I have similar ones. It, that ended up being nothing. Lots of older styles. Uh, Stuart Wiseman is good. But this pair was just kind of worn and pretty dated. I don't think anyone wants to wear pink pumps. Those were a cute slip-on. I thought maybe they were Vince, but not a brand I recognize, so I put them back. <laughs> there they are struggling with the card. Get out of my way. <laughs> I'm going here. Bicker, bicker, bicker. Anyone else have that problem? <laughs> Annabelle says, ooh, some soccer shoes. I don't really pick up a whole lot of athletic shoes, to be honest. It's just a whole other ball game. All right, and those I did end up picking up, I think, for like 10 bucks. So they were Joseph uh, Seibel. Seibel? Not sure how to say that. Good pair of leather boots. I like the buckles on the side. I know I just got done saying it's the wrong season, but those I felt comfortable that I could sell between 40 and 50. So I'm telling Matthew, please put those in the cart. Again, he has to have something to do. Um, those were Sam Edelman for $10. I like the style of them, but they were really scuffed up. <clears throat> I 
Nice Easter basket, anyone? Just kind of chilling in the middle of the aisle way. There's a couple really unique pair of, like, uh, what are those called? I mean, just flats. I don't know, slip-ons. Looked up the brand and comps were only, like, 15 to 20 bucks. And again, when you're on a budget, it's not really a time to be trying out something new. Just had, like, really cool designs on them. These were a new with tag pair of floral vans, which I've seen in a couple other reseller videos, like retail arbitrage. But I looked up comps on these and it, it wasn't worth it. So I put those back and those soles were like kind of yellowed. And I don't like cleaning shoes. Lazy reseller, I'll admit it. I have been looking at cowgirl boots because of all the boots I found at the bins. Those were in really good condition, but the comps were not anywhere close to what I thought they would be. And here I am showing you these shoes. Even Annabelle was like, what is it? And I don't, I don't, I don't, I still don't really even know. I put them in the cart because I would look them up. And then these I didn't end up picking up. Really good condition. Um, a pair of flats, like comfort flats by that brand. I think those were also like eight to ten dollars. Another Stuart Wiseman. I just thought the style was kind of dated. There's another brand. That's the same brand of the ones I put in my cart. Matthew says he's done with this aisle. Bye bye. They just look like comic strips or something. And the camera stopped for a second, so we had to start. Filming again. That was another pair by that same brand, like really unique flats. So I put those in the cart. I really like these Adidas. I think they were like cloud foam or something. Again, I'm not familiar with sneakers at all. They were in good condition. Annabelle even said something about getting them for her Aunt Kiki. But we did end up putting those back. As well as these. It looked really interesting, but again, I'm kind of on a budget, trying to be a little bit pickier. Some more boots. Some men's shoes. I really sell a whole lot of men's shoes. I have no idea what I'm saying because I muted it out. Okay, so we made it over to the jeans. As you'll see, everyone starts getting a little antsy, like hiding in the racks. Um, my nine-year-old videographer can't figure out how to <laughs> let me flip through the jeans and still show any kind of tags, but we'll see how she did. I'm doing this voiceover and I haven't watched any of this, so... There was a few J. Crew pieces. I don't really care to pick those up. Lots of loft, um, international concepts. There was a few brands that we weren't familiar with. There was royalty something or other. We'll find here in a minute. 
but it wasn't comps were not good i was hoping to find like miss me or something oh those were a pair of top shop culottes is that how you say that which is a very popular style right now i understand but comps did not look good on those either like 15 bucks not even worth not worth listing it if i'd found them at the bins it'd probably be different but no Flipping through. You know, she actually did not do too bad. <laughs> I'm recording this. There was a few times I took the camera out of her hand. She just kept trying to squeeze in there like, well, I can't see. <laughs> and, oh, look, we have a cowboy in the middle. He just kept laughing every time he would do it. <clears throat> so there's a pair I was going to check out for later. Again, we didn't pick up any jeans today, so it's just, you guys can look through the footage in there. See, I took it away from her. <laughs> you can see. <laughs> you can see Matthew peeking through the hangers. That's funny. Okay, these looked cute. They were distressed. That's those royalty jeans. <laughs> there he is. You guys, this was so hard. I'm used to spending, like, hours in the thrift store with no distractions. Nothing, nothing. Oh, look, there he is again. <laughs> he just keeps on sneaking in. Then he thinks he wants to look. And, uh, those were a brand I did not recognize, but. Hudson jeans, those can do well, but always look. At the carotidal area for puckering, that just means it's been stretched out too much, and that's a flaw that we can't get over. Page jeans, mm-hmm, yeah, same thing, puckering. So those went so, oh, oh, look, there's Matthew yet again. Such a little ham. Um, not your daughter's jeans. Those used to do well on thread up. I see a lot of Gloria Vanderbilt. LEI. There was one pair of, oh, one pair of Levi's. I think they were like the 7-Eleven skinny, but that's something I need to research a little bit more before I, they weren't, like the half off tag was blue today. I didn't find, I don't think any of my stuff was half off today, but I did good. You'll see a haul at the end of this video of what all we picked up. But it's fun to come along for the journey and see, like, what tags I pass on. See, look, at I'm filming and I'm worse than Annabelle. <laughs> Maybe I should have let her keep the camera, right? Time and True, that's like a Walmart brand. Lee. Sonoma. These are like Kohl's brand, which is fine for myself, but. Kit Kit, Kit Kit jeans. I almost want to say Kit Kat jeans. Like at this time, I'm already like stressing. The kids are like, well, let's go look at the toys. Bye bye. See ya. <laughs> And see them in the back. Give it, you have to just keep them moving. Or they get bored. Like they can't do this. That Allen B that I sold a dress on thread up, but I wasn't too sure about Poshmark. And again, we only had an hour, so I wasn't gonna mess with it. So American Eagle, I like selling if they're distressed. I've been selling their shorts anywhere from 15 to 18 if they're distressed or well, that one was a bigger size that I sold. No clue what that is. Just look like an off, off brand. Color jeans or pattern jeans don't do well. So pass on any of those. Old Navy. Lucky brand. Leave those behind. So, I mean, it's just hit or miss. 
Uh, you just never know what you're going to find. And the video cut me off. <laughs> Here's Annabelle telling you that we're going to the dresses. I didn't realize she recorded herself. <laughs> I always tell her, I'm like, can you not film like the floor and my fat? That'd be great. <laughs> Last time was the first video. Oh, okay. So they had all the short dresses on this rack. All the tall dresses were over there. This is where she was really like, I want to look through here. Move over. And we just couldn't, like, get in sync with the camera and stuff. She's actually really helpful. Matthew decided he wanted to be in the cart, which is better contained, I guess. And here I am flipping through the dress. That was, this was a Brandy Melville but even Annabelle said it's it's pretty plain. And it was pretty, like, wash wear. Just, like, faded. So we decided to put that one back. I've noticed thrift stores, like, I haven't been back to this one in, gosh, I don't know, a month and a half, two months. It's usually pretty good, but today was, like, slim pickings a little bit. I normally just put anything I'm interested in in the cart and then find a corner of the thrift store and go through it all. This, I wasn't sure what the brand was. Hi There by Karen Walker. And I was like, Karen Walker of uh, Will and Grace? Like, huh? So again, on a budget today, so not really going to try anything new. This was, that was a neat dress with the flowers all hanging off of it. I guess she was right. She did kind of need to stand behind me. I've been looking at white dresses just because a lot of people will buy them for graduation, but I think I've already kind of missed the mark on that. This was a really pretty dress. The label looked nice. We thought maybe it was silk. I checked the tag and it was just polyester. So I decided to put that back. Again, it's like I'm not I'm not playing around with stuff. I don't know what it is. I need to stay what whoop stay with what works. <clears throat> Couple pair of overalls in there. Some evening dresses. Oop, I think I'm getting the one that I picked up. Maybe. Oh, I thought it was. Maybe not. Oh, nope, here it comes. <laughs> that teal dress coming home with me. Lots of very pretty prints. I thought that was Lily Pulitzer for a second. It was not. Pass. And then I found this. So this is a brand, Title Nine, which is an athletic brand. Recently sold a swimsuit by that brand pretty quickly for about 20 bucks. So I gave it to Matthew to put it into the cart. I'm hoping it'll sell just as quickly as the swimsuit did. That was a really unique print. I was thinking about getting that for style. The embroidery was pretty heavy on the top and on the bottom but it was missing a belt and it wasn't a brand I recognized so I decided not to take a chance on that there she is trying to sneak in and get the labels I guess maybe I need to listen to my nine-year-old photographer a little bit more <laughs> videographer whatever you call it lots of like exhilaration which I think is Walmart. Apartment 9 is Kohl's. Pass on that. Forever 21. Dress Barn. Nope, nope, nope. Loft. Unless it's something like super unique where I'm buying it for style. I leave those brands behind. That was a Toby dress. Like that's a boutique brand. Left that behind.
that was a really pretty Calvin Klein dress. I thought maybe for like a wedding guest or something. But decided to pass on that. They do take a while to sell. I don't know what I was looking at there. <laughs> I don't know what she's doing. You're like zooming in. This dress I thought was really pretty. Like the neon flowers on it. Kind of retro. Like, I don't know. It kind of gave me like 60s vibes. Like hippie. I don't know. So it's Sabrina Spencer Jeremy. So I put that in the cart. Ew. He was putting his mouth on the cart handle. Gross. I didn't catch him. And here we are, still going through more dresses. They have a lot of dresses there. It's kind of hard to go through. Like, I hate when the racks are so full that you can't even, like, get your hand in there to check what brand it is. Nothing interesting going on here. It's weird not having a video with all the hanger noises, too. One time my dad called him and he goes, what are you doing? I said, oh, I'm out shopping. And he could hear click, 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 click. He says, oh, you must be thrifting. I hear the hangers. I thought that was kind of funny. Because, yes, once you become a little bit seasoned where you're not stopping going and learning all the brands and you no, 100% like pass, 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 pass. <laughs> You'll flick through things like super quick. Like I was surprised after I got done with the dresses that I had any time left over. I thought for sure it would take a good, the whole hour that we had. That was like investments or something. I don't know. I had a beaded neckline, so I kind of checked it out. Marona, I think that's like Walmart or Kohl's or JCPenney's or something. And you can't see anything I'm doing. <laughs> but it's okay. A new day. I think that's Kohl's. No clue what this one is because you can't see anything. Oh cooperation yeah no clue pass okay this one i did kind of like it because it was 100 percent linen uh, for 7.49 for a cynthia raleigh dress it was probably sold at kohl's i decided to pass and then i realized my finger <laughs> or is that annabelle's finger is that mine or hers <laughs> somebody's finger is on the camera Probably mine. She's actually pretty interested with the like filming piece and the editing. In the What Sold video, she was learning how to put the pictures on the screen. And she only watched me do it once. Now that, Adrian Papel, I do like selling that brand. But it was not half off and I just I didn't care for the style of that. It's not very modern, I guess. Wasn't sure what that was. I mean, if you can get some of these brands at a good price or pick them up at the bins where, where you pay by the pound like I did the other day, it wouldn't be so bad. Like if you're really in need of inventory. But like I said, when I'm spending $7.49 on something, I want to make sure that the return is worth all the time I'm putting into it to take the pictures, take the measurements. Post on Poshmark, cross post to all the other sites, and then, you know, deal with people's offers and sending offers to likers and, you know, keeping up with the listing. It, this Each piece takes work to sell it. Imagine that. Every little bit counts.
Casper dress passed on that. Those blazers used to do well on thread up. I still sell on thread up. I sent quite a few boxes in and didn't do the expedited. All right, give lady your stuff. Okay, we made it back home, and here is what we decided to pick up. Uh, it was very difficult shopping with the kids today, but we did our right. So, we did decide to pick up, we, <laughs> I decided to pick up both of these Joseph Seibel pairs of shoes. So, a pair of loafers and the pair of boots. I would expect to get 35 to 45 out of the boots and I'll have to check the flats because I haven't seen those before uh, then we picked up this if I can find the tag which I never heard of it's Vanessa Virginia and it's this if I could figure it if I could figure it out somewhere oh goodness what a mess I am today. Where are you? Okay. <laughs> so it's a wrap top, ties, but I like the back. I thought that would show well in photos. Matthew's over there playing with his new toys. This I bought for style because it's kind of retro looking. It's just an A-line dress. And it's by the brand Spencer Jeremy. I will have to look up comps, but maybe 25 to 35 on that. I'm doing well. Picking up a bigger variety. I found a men's Robert Graham button-up shirt. Probably sell for 25 to 35. Oh, I spent like $63 today, by the way. This is a brand I sold a swimsuit very quickly. It's the brand Title Nine. This athletic dress, probably thirty to forty. The swimsuit sold for twenty on an offer, so I was looking for that. And this I picked up. It's super cute. It could totally be like a flower girl dress or just a summer party. But it's by it's a size eight, and it's by the brand. Pippa and Julie. Pick that up also. So that'll add a little bit to what I still have to list. Um, I should have a shipping video tomorrow. We sold a few more things today and hope you're enjoying the journey. See you guys soon.